Alrighty, new version of this one. Let's check it out. Oh, the head things are up. Yeah, that's cool. And then, ooh, yes, and just enough extension at the end. Cool. Oh, I like this. Yeah, there's a lot of really cool stuff in there. The only thing that caught my attention was the lifting of this. And it's not, not that it's wrong. It just feels overly soft and separate. But then in a way where these two go at the same time, and then it feels like these two are fairly linked, even though there's a slight offset. And again, you know, you might argue, well, that's how the creature works. I think the only thing I would do is just offset one of these two um, by like a frame or two. Take away that, that twinny aspect of it. Um, but then it's just, I guess you, just, you have to think in terms of, is this, because the reason why I'm saying it's not wrong is because the softness gives it almost a bit of a, a curiosity feel to it, which is fine compared to an alertness where this feels a bit faster, which to me makes sense because it's just something like, oh, what's over there? Like that, that's more alert. So if I'd be super picky, I would take like two frames out of these. So it's slightly more alert. It's like, huh? And let's get out of there. Oh, that's cute. And then keep that the way you have it in terms of softness, but just offset one of these two. And then when you go into, <gasps> into that, I will probably shoot these down faster because now it seems like now there's some more caution. It's almost a submissiveness because of this where, and I would also probably super picky bring one a bit higher. I know it's nice and clean, but it's almost to align with that back uh, side line there. I would break silhouette a little bit, at least with one back there. Maybe this can come out a little bit. Just retaining that, that shape. But yeah, it feels like oh, that feels now a bit too soft, given the sudden alertness or caution almost. If that's what you're going for, unless you're going for like uh, ready to play. I don't know. That's kind of what I have here. It feels, it feels to me like wants to be careful, but then decides, ah, it's fine. I want to play. And again, here I will probably break up the shape a little bit and get it a bit higher, just a bit. It feels so aligned, but this helps. And again, offsetting these a bit. Not crazy. Not this like separate finger. You know, this goes first, and five frames. This goes then. I would just like one or two frames. Little, this little, little polishy stuff. Same thing with this. They feel like they come out at the same time. And the only thing I would say here... Again, this is all really cool. Like I like all of this. Here, I would say, on that push. I feel like, these, again, this is super... To me, this is done. Like, this is not, like, super polishy stuff where I would just kind of tweak all the things. Like, these two come out fairly at the same time, also the same distance. It feels a bit too much. Uh, where it's too mirrored. Same with these a little bit. I'm really talking, like, one frame or two. Maybe, maybe not as much on this side. But then also pushing them tiny bit down especially the middle one because when you see all of this movement i don't see anything happening especially in this one I see some pixel movement in here but going from here to here puts a lot of pressure on there and you want to see these go down a little bit as well because the thing is we're doing squash that's why they go out but then when nothing moves here and not really go down either that feels a bit weird not that you want to like super intersect with the ground but kind of play around with the feeling of this will still push down and maybe you know you curve it more like that if there's any way possible and then polish your things again offsetting one i like that this guy's higher than the other but then i will go stronger with that foot roll paw roll whatever than this because now it feels like they both curve at the same time just little tiny things here and there in terms of spacing or like this guy goes up 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 here and then goes 
down into a bit of a sharp arc. Oh, that's, hold on, what's the speed here? <sighs> nah, that's fine. It's going to give us a little bit of one like ease in frame, but I think it's okay. But what you could do is rotate this out this way and why so that push off has a bit of a push and then a slight lean this way let's see if you're going up this way yeah slight take that ankle over a little bit again super picky super picky because to me this is like this is the last comment there you know it's kind of loosening up those ankles not soft but giving this like this is cool i like how this goes from here the slight lean forward like stuff like that is great I would, same thing here i would probably lower these a little bit i know it goes up and that's why you raise this but it feels a bit stiff there so a bit of lean back to the left will help and then when you move all of this again there's so much weight shifting from here to here that when you look at this nothing is really moving i know i see toes here but it would be flattening this and maybe even curving or tensing up those toes so it doesn't feel like there's nothing going on there that's pretty much it i don't remember if those has I control to widen the eyeball socket anything here to give this a also a feeling of changing looks i think am i seeing a blink here i'm not sure i don't know you can tell me how far you can push this in terms of the shapes or anything just kind of widening Because this goes back into the thing of there looks like it's it's like you want to see that moment of oh what's this which is that but I'm missing it in here if that makes sense it feels like that the face stays the same so I don't know if there's anything or you want to I don't know how much you have if, are there any corner shapes again I don't remember the rig but if you want to close the mouth more to not see that black line and then as it opens here or as the head goes up then you have it here so it feels like the jaw opens a little bit so i see jaw movement i don't see anything else really and here are the corners the robot is cute too yeah the return is great that's all that's all great yeah it's to me like this is like one last pass again it's not like crazy horrible stuff that's that's wrong like once it gets to just that level of polish then that's when i start looking at really all the last details on squishiness and just ankle movement and stuff like that but the one overriding note would be just addressing these guys just for final polish and then i would do ankle thingies and and fingers it's really cute though like that works so much better i love the <laughs> yeah that timing's great maybe you knew there was one more that head tilt could be at the end maybe a bit sharper like he's back to being alert and it feels like right at the very end those last frames it feels even in timing and just kind of eh versus ha <gasps> like a fast little quick look up Taking maybe two frames out of that that move up. It just feels like you have life, 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 and then eh, at the very end. I know I'm really talking about the last what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine frames, maybe. It would help. It was actually on frame 192 for me. It feels like you have animation here, but is there anything going on here? last couple of frames i think your your guy dies at the end you can see how it's just the head right there feels like you extended the shot for this but then just added all your rotation there just make sure that you when you add this even you take a couple frames out to make it a bit sharper 
it will still affect the rest. You still have gonna be little things here and there to move. Oh, this is just me, but I am now closer to the screen scrubbing, and all I'm seeing here is the head rotation. So make sure it doesn't die. Same with your camera. Again, if it feels like your camera just goes up and stops, you might as well continue with that little keep alive on that camera. It just kind of dies a little bit at the end. Because your, your robot guy continues till there. Yeah, just keep going with the camera and the rest of that. You know, that head moves, influences the rest. And that's it. That would be the last pass. I say this now and picky, picky, picky. It's just because it's so cool. And you're paying for this. So I want to give you all the information. Of course, as always, feel free to just grab whatever you want to do, you can do, all that good stuff. It's it's obviously your schedule as well. And that's it. Thanks. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whatever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.